These plants grow up to live here, in an old warehouse that doesn't look like much from the outside, but inside it's a farm, a vertical farm of mega proportions. It's different here than I've seen anywhere else. Just the, the size, the sheer the scale of it is, is very unique. It's five to six levels high depending on the system and it's about 160 to 180 feet long. Each week, workers sow seed after seed of basil, arugula, and other greens grown under fluorescent lights. The facility is part of a growing movement of indoor farming, but few have tried it at this scale. So once they get at a certain height from the germination racks, we transplant them to our system. We let them grow a few weeks, maybe uh, two to four weeks. Owners that farmed here say they'll have 150,000 square feet of vertical growing space by the end of next year. As I'm cutting them, you could smell it, and it's very aromatic, and it's very calming. Some wonder if the sheer amount of energy it takes to run the lights over these plants is cost-effective, but the owners say they'll eventually generate their own power with methane. They claim they'll be harvesting more than a million pounds of greens annually when the farm's final phase is completed next year some already being delivered to nearby stores in Chicago and its suburbs. We hold it for about 12 to 18 hours. It's, it doesn't sit longer than our day in our coolers. So from our coolers, we load them up to the vans and directly to the stores. The company's CEO calls it on-demand farming. Let's say the demand is suddenly for various types of arugula or various types of mixed greens or mini greens. We could change the whole system, and uh, pretty much within the next uh, 14 to 28 days, we have a full-grown plant, whatever the market requires. And locally grown, increasingly a big selling point with consumers. Martha Irvin, Associated Press.